Good morning, brothers and sisters. I took last night, last night off because of things at home. But I want to talk about a discussion I had on Twitter. And people refusing the truth because of tradition. Refusing truth because a little white lie won't hurt. Refusing truth of the seasons that mankind portrays as good. When in actuality, they're a, a lie. According to historical documents from the Aramaic and Koine Greek manuscripts, been found, been proven, but yet refused. Because three things pride, arrogance, and greed. People don't realize that pride, arrogance, and greed hinder all witness, all testimony. All not really all, but biases. Creates a bias. Let me reword that. Those three those three factors, pride, arrogance, and greed lead to three things. Denial, refusal, and excuse. Bump is coming up here shortly. But, I was challenged when I said it, and they go, well, those are personal. Well, how do you apply it as a whole for society? And I went and I looked at him, I went, narcissism and pride are your worst two enemies. <clears throat> You're so absorbed in yourself and the intrinsic, intrinsic pleasures of the flesh. And because you realize it's wrong, your pride hinders you from accepting that it's wrong. As a society, we have turned against that which is good because of pride and arrogance and because of narcissism. Well, when are we going to see the weapons of Satan for what they are? That is the question you must ask yourself. When are you going to see how Satan has manipulated this society? It's not going to change. It's going to get worse. Paul said it. I'm going to say it. Jesus said it. We follow the lead of Christ. Back in his day, during Paul, the Jews had a loving little term of affection they used. Oh, those are of the Nazarene sect, the cult of the Nazarenes. The Jews called us a cult back then. Once you know the truth, you cannot go back to the world and think of it the same way. You can't see the world in the same light you used to see it. Once you've been exposed to the truth. People wonder why I really don't celebrate Christmas on December 25th. Because the 21st through the 27th is the solstice celebration of the pagans. Secondly, Nimrod's birthday is December 25th approximately. Again, nobody wants to hear that. Who was Nimrod? Nimrod was king of Nebuchadnezzar. Babylon. But why do we have all this advertisement and all that? That's called consumerism. It's part of capitalism, but it's called consumerism. How are you going to keep people buying year-round if you don't spread the holidays out? It's a way to keep your profits up. But it all boils down to one big word. And I'm going there. Psychology. The psychology of the day is nothing different than the psychology of the past or the future. 
They have been using psychology on you since day one. <clears throat> when are you going to break free from that psychology is the question you have to ask yourself. When are you going to take a stand and stop allowing the world to manipulate and control you? You see, it's that simple. When? It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. Are you going to realize that Satan's had his hands in everything you're doing? With your life, your children, your family. You might say, Pastor, you're nuts. Praise God if you do. Because I'm crazy for Christ and I'm crazy for the truth. And I'm not going to let the truth be hidden. Because who would I be as a pastor if I did? You're doing your little alcohol drinky drink. You're doing your drugs. Well, what's done in the dark is made known in the light. You have to remember that. Quit being afraid to take the reins. Quit being afraid of what people are going to say if they know who you are really. You want to be held hostage by your own mind? Keep allowing other people to manipulate it. You're a prisoner. I try not to expose people anymore. I let their own actions expose them. I mean, that's why you don't see me doing all these bashing. I just personally don't listen to them. Or I personally don't take the time to listen to their messages because I don't feel the spirit within it. I feel something totally different. Whether I got one or 10,000, it doesn't matter. I'm going to speak the same message. A lot of these will sell out as they get a larger group. I've never changed my message since 2004. And I won't change my message. It is time to repent. It's time to come clean. It's time to live according to the word of God. It's time to quit compromising the word for your own self-satisfaction. But narcissism and pride and the inherent ability to embrace them that all mankind has will destroy your witness and your testimony. I come not with excellency of speech. I come with the truth. Christ said it. I come not with peace. I come not to bring peace but a sword. To set at naught families for what? For the glory of God. Physical family doesn't matter. Physical family blood doesn't matter. Spiritual blood. The spirit of Christ is what matters. The spirit of Christ matters on who is your family. Who is my mother? Who is my brother? Jesus Christ even said. Is it my DNA? Is it my mother on earth and my stepdad and my brothers? Nay. But those that do the will of my Father which is in heaven. Jesus Christ didn't stutter. Why are we? Why are we backpedaling and going silent when we need to be speaking in full volume and in full truth? What's holding you back but yourself? Your anxiety, your fears, the demonic oppressions. Selfishness. Those that do the will of my Father which is in heaven, Jesus said. What are you doing? Whose will are you doing? Are you doing the will of the one on this world, earth? Or are you doing the will of your Father which is in heaven? That is the question you must ask yourself. I know I'm going off the rails today. But you know what? I got to go off the reservation and rails today. Because y'all ain't grasping it. God doesn't want me sugarcoating the word to make you feel good. God's telling me to give you the truth. And I'm going to give you the truth. Not my perception of it. God's going to give you a smackdown of reality. 
whether you like it or not. Quit allowing yourself to be held back by the binds of this earth and the spiritual bondage this earth is providing you and imprisoning you in. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you. We give you the glory, O oh God, for waking us up today, O oh Lord. Give us the safe travels that we need to get to work and home. Lord, watch over us as we are at work. Teach us to be your guides even in a dark place. Lord, let us speak good of you where evil is spoken of you. Let us speak the truth without shame. Let us speak the truth in honor, glory, admiration, and praise. Lord, we lift up our brothers and sisters who are battling cancer, migraines, strokes, heart attacks, blindness, seizures, blood clots. Lord, asthma, the loss of loved ones, Lord, the grief is great. Lord, we just ask that you put your hands on these children right now. Give them the peace and the comfort they need. Surround them with your angels, O oh God. Lord, bless our enemies. Bless those that curse us and despitefully use us, O oh Lord. As Timothy said, or as young Stephen said, commit not their sin to their charge, O oh God. Jesus, you said it best when you said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you. We give you that glory. We give you the honor that is due to you. And we just thank you and praise you endlessly. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Love you guys. God bless.